Guys, there comes a time in some towns when you know they're on the cusp of something. Like the town's been percolating, getting all its ingredients together, and then it's ready to find itself. This is that moment for Bonita Springs. This town is arriving. It's happening right now. Here we go. This is Becky Letts. Becky, along with just about everybody else in Bonita Springs, is feeling a buzz. So many years of hard work and great decisions has put this town into this moment's position to blossom. It's gonna be the old coming to the new, so it's gonna be that still that great charm of Bonita Springs, but then all the great things that are happening. This is the revitalization. This is like, yeah, this is the happening. Like the it's the moment. The excitement, you can feel it everywhere. Years and years of the township, the public sector, seeing the potential of the town and seeing it as their job to lay down a canvas so the private sector can swoop in and begin to create this town's character and spirit. Becky and I met with city councilman Jesse Purden to get his perspective. He said, okay, but this is a canvas. Yep. And uh, what do you got, private sector? Is that kind of what's going on? Well, and, and they've responded. You know, that's how it really started, but you had to make it you had to make it something that was going to be worth worth it for the developer. The public sector, the city, has been working. Investment after investment into the city, so the private sector would see this as a great place to invest. Some of the city's investments were firstly from the ground up the roads. They're beautiful. The bricks lay a stunning groundwork for all the beauty that's here and what's yet to come. The medians and infrastructure also thought out, beautifully designed and maintained. There are no wires. No unsightly electrical wires, no telephone wires. And they preserved all the charm they possibly could by preserving the historic buildings wherever possible. And they're cleaning the water. So 90% of the harmful nutrients that reach Benita through the Imperial River, the town of Benita removes those nutrients so the water runs clean through their town and beyond. Look at this. We have manatees, uh, dolphins, uh, paddle boarders. You're not gonna see this in any other downtown. The money's pouring in, the ideas are pouring in, it's all so exciting. And what's evolving is Benita's very own vibe. All this existing charm, combined with all these new inspired elements, is starting to give you the idea of how fun this vibe is going to be. Here's a few projects happening right now that'll give you an idea of where this vibe is headed. Starting with a rooftop bar slash food truck park. This is going to be the rooftop bar. There's eight food trucks, and they're going to rotate. And there's going to be two stories of bar area where you can sit, have drinks. You get your food. You come up here. You have your drinks. Then there's the Sugar Shack. If you haven't followed them on YouTube, you should. Since 2014, they've been producing amazing original music right here in a backyard in Bonita Springs. They bring in these bands, really talented bands. They have jam sessions in their backyard. They record the sessions beautifully, and then they send those productions out via YouTube for the whole world to see. And now they're bringing that backyard magic right to a restaurant in Bonita Springs with that same spirit that got them famous on YouTube. What a gift for Bonita Springs. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be live music and a restaurant. So you know how everybody's enjoying Riverside Park right now? It's gonna be music throughout here. And all these people are gonna be sitting out and actually enjoying good food and live music. And then there's this. 5.3 acres called the Imperial Crossing Project to be developed by the Baron Collier Company. It will turn this into this. People who haven't been here in 10 years are gonna be shocked when they finally get to come, come see. Yeah. We are gonna have a large focus on the aesthetics of the Imperial, places for people to gather around the water, really kind of bringing us back into the focus of Imperial really being the heart of our downtown. So instead of it being like a dilapidated park with a seawall that's broken over there, <laughs> this entire thing is gonna be taken care of by the best developer in the state. $50 million spent so the private sector could come in and do its thing. All the new vibe being added to Benita's already existing charm. So gonna allow us to mature and develop into the powerhouse of Southwest Florida. Finally, like everybody was waiting for this to happen and now it's finally happening. We've been talking about it forever and it was time to do it. Watch out, it's gonna be fun. It's actually happening. We'll see you next week.